pasta form when, when uh, the beetle heads were sick and what they were. So again, telling a compelling story of, of water and habitability at this site. And then of course, when we got to the Deborah Crater, uh, we found the marvelous results uh, at Esperance, the clay minerals that uh, Ray Arbus had talked about. Now, I'd like to go on to the next graphic, and let's linger on this one a moment, because this is worth looking at. This is a very strange pair of images. These are two images. They were taken 12 days apart. This just happened. I mean, this is going on right now. This is where opportunity is currently parked. And you can see, 12 days apart, a rock just simply appeared in front of us. In fact, we've, we've narrowed them down the date of its appearance to about a four-day period. This is strange. Um, now, we don't think that anything particularly exotic happened here. The most likely scenario... Organism. That organism that Joseph is referring to is the rock, described as a jelly donut. Due to its dark interior and light exterior, it was first discovered by NASA during the exploration of its Mars opportunity. However, according to Joseph, the jelly donut was some kind of organism that grew itself over the years. The refusal to take close-up photos from various angles, the refusal to take microscopic images of this specimen, the refusal to release high-resolution photos, is inexplicable, recklessly negligent, and bizarre, according to the suit. NASA has long declared that jelly donut is a mere rock. We have looked at it with our microscope. It is clearly rock, said Steve Squires, the principal investigator of the Mars Exploration Rovers.